In the neon-lit heart of the 1980s, the Sunset Carnival stood as a beacon of whimsy and wonder. Its candy-striped tents housed fortune tellers, acrobats, and cotton candy vendors. But the true star was Crazy the Clown, a painted jester with a sinister secret. Crazy's real name was Eddie Grimsby, a failed actor who found solace in grease paint and oversized shoes. His bulbous red nose concealed a fractured mind, and his painted grin masked a festering rage. Beneath the carnival's twinkling lights, he danced, juggled, and made children laugh. But the laughter was hollow, echoing the void within. From years of being mistreated and abused, one sweltering August night, as the Ferris wheel spun against the moon, something snapped in Eddie. The carousel's calliope music grated on his nerves, and the laughter of children became a cacophony of madness. He stumbled into his tiny trailer, its walls adorned with faded posters of his former glory. The mirror reflected a man who had lost himself. Eddie's eyes, once hopeful, now held a feverish glint. His makeup was smeared, revealing the cracks in his sanity. He clutched a rusted knife, the same one he used to carve smiles into watermelons during happier days. The carnival's lights flickered, casting eerie shadows on the canvas walls. Eddie stepped outside, the blade hidden in his oversized sleeve. The air smelled of popcorn and desperation. He moved through the deserted midway, past the empty bumper cars and the ghostly tilt-a-whirl. And then he saw them, the unsuspecting revelers laughing and spinning on the teacup ride. Their joy mocked him. Their innocence taunted him. He lunged, slashing at the air, and the first victim fell a teenage girl with pigtails and a heart full of dreams. The screams began. Panic spread like wildfire. Eddie danced among the chaos, his painted face twisted with glee. He stabbed, slashed, and painted the carnival grounds with crimson. The Ferris wheel halted, its riders dangling like forgotten marionettes. The fortune teller's tent burned, its crystal ball shattered. As dawn approached, the police arrived. Eddie stood atop the carousel, blood-soaked and delirious. The sirens wailed, but he laughed a guttural, unhinged sound that echoed through the carnage. They shot him down, but not before he took a dozen lives. In the aftermath, the Sunset Carnival closed forever. Its neon signs flickered one last time, then faded into oblivion. Eddie Grimsby, the clown who went mad, became a legend whispered in hushed tones. Some say his laughter still echoes in the wind, a haunting reminder of innocence lost. And so, the 1980s carnival vanished, leaving behind only memories of twisted merriment and the crimson legacy of Crazy the Clown.
911, what's your emergency? Hello, 911. I was walking in the woods not far from the Sunset Carnival, and I think I stumbled upon a dead body, and I would like to have you send someone right away. I'll send you someone right away. Looks like we got a dumping ground here. Someone's been dumping bodies. What a mess. Looks like a serial killer. What's the meaning of it? He could be around still. He could be watching us. How can you say that?
Nothing, just about to head out to the trail. I heard some weird things ever since I called the cops on that one body. They've done nothing but ask questions. Yeah, that was about six months ago. They've been flying helicopters all over here in this area. Yeah, I'm not too far from the old carnival. <laughs> that old clown, man? No, that's just a rumor. He's not still alive. Cops killed that guy a long time ago after the massacre. There's no way he's still alive. Yeah, we don't want to do anything to scare your children. That's the last thing we want to do. We don't want to scare anybody. Anyway, I better get heading out. I'm gonna walk this trail before it gets too late. Calling for another storm. Yeah, nice hearing from you too. Take care, man. Nah, I'm gonna be fine, dude. That old clown is gonna be around. All right. Take care.